Hey everybody, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and I need to uh, make a bunch of videos this week on prevention and I'm going back through all the uh, antivirus applications I reviewed on detection and removal and I'm going to test them out against some um, some threats, some malicious URLs. And these threats may be a few days old, maybe a week old, something like that. I'm not, I'm not positive. But tonight, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick 10-minute video on Avast. This is Avast Home. Uh, it's version 4.8. Uh, you can see my VPS, my definitions are already up to date. I've updated them. Um, my resident protection is turned on high, so all my shields are cranked way up. And we're going to feed uh, Internet Explorer about five malicious URLs and see if Avast can take care of them. I can't guarantee all these uh, URLs are going to work because I haven't tested them. Uh, I'm just going to give them a shot. Let's see. This would be a fake video codec. Um, this video codec thing would download a uh, fake antivirus product. And so far, Avast either doesn't see it or the actual program didn't work. The actual virus didn't work. Uh, I don't know which. There is really no telling unless something happens here. Uh, let's move on to another URL. Okay. In this case, uh, Avast saw that this was a worm, and it wants me to abort the connection. If I still run it, I can't because the connection's been aborted. Uh, in this case, it did download a little something to my uh, temporary internet files. I can move to chest, and Avast cannot move it to the chest. The process cannot be accessed because the file is in use by another process. Move to chest. Same thing. Move to chest. Same thing. Uh, let's try move rename. Can't do it. Delete. That's fine. Well, it fails on that one. So we got two that the first one just didn't even do anything. I don't know if it's on this machine or not. And then the second one, Avast pretty much failed at blocking it. It's on my system. I can't do anything about it. That one wasn't found. This one's taking its uh, sweet time to load. I'll go ahead and load up another session. And let's check out this one. Okay. Uh, malware was found. Wants me to abort the connection. It's a rootkit. And it looks like this one was successfully blocked and aborted. Let's go ahead and uh, pick out two more here. Again, I'm looking for something that will actually do a 5 for 5 kind of thing. Um, so far, it's I think it's missed on two. The first one, 
just didn't register anything, which makes me think it got through. The second one obviously failed because we couldn't delete it or remove it or anything. Um, so now we're getting uh, a Trojan being downloaded automatically from the stuff that couldn't be removed in the first place. Okay, it caught this one. Uh, it's another virus worm kind of thing. So I'm pretty sure we've missed two and we've blocked like three. So that is, uh, I think that might be four total URLs. Let me try one more here, because I got some time. Okay, it blocked a Trojan horse. Abort the connection. It crashes Internet Explorer. All right, well, you know, Avast didn't do perfect, but it blocked, uh, you know, 75% of the malware that I fed it. Um, so, like I said, we, the last prevention test, we, we tried out uh, Nod32, and that was uh, pretty much perfect at blocking everything. And the ones I'm giving it are, are pretty old. Um, these are more than two weeks old. So if we um, fire up another one, let's run this. Yeah, this is a rootkit right here going into drivers. Move to chest. Too many, too many hourglasses. It, it just kind of makes me feel like something's going on. So, anyway, I don't know. I didn't really get the greatest feelings from Avast um, on the detection and removal, and. It's not exactly the greatest for prevention. I think it missed two. I physically, we, we really, really saw it miss one where it couldn't actually delete it. But uh, anyway, I don't know. You be the judge. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.